Hey everyone, so um, as I was setting up for this video and I was sitting in front of the camera and like looking at the background and everything to make sure it was okay, um, I noticed that there are, you can spot three Eiffel Towers on one side of my room. So there's one there on my calendar, then on my nightstand, and then on this picture right here. So as you can see, I like the Eiffel Tower quite a bit. That's beside the point of this video though, so today I'm doing my own nail polish collection video. Hallie's done one. If you want to go see her um, video, it'll be linked, and you can click it right here. So you guys can go check that video out. My collection is definitely not as big as hers, but my video will probably be just as long because I like to talk a lot. But my collection is probably half or one third of her collection. She has a ton of nail polish. So I'm just going to get started by showing you guys what I store it in. And yeah, so I store all my nail polish in this box right here. I got this box um, for my birthday and it had a blank in it from my friend. So I just kept the box for nail polish storage and all my nail polish is sitting next to me, um, organized by color, because I need to organize this anyway, but it's not as organized in color. Um, but inside, I keep, you know, my nail polish and I also have cotton balls, two things of nail polish remover, this one is almost empty and this one's completely full and I have not used it yet, squished cotton ball on the bottom, and this little, whoa, that would have been bad, this little makeup bag full of nail art tools which I will go through at the end after you go through all of my nail polish, and then I will show you guys my little pile of nail polish down by me that is all my nail polish that I will be showing you guys today okay so let's get started with the reds I don't have very many reds first I have LA colors berry red you probably won't be able to read most of the names but that's okay OPI's red my fortune cookie And Revlon's Love Her Madly. And if the L or the Y in Madly was an E, it'd be Madly Fashions. I couldn't uh, decide whether to put this in the reds or the pinks, but it's a deeper color, so I just put in the reds. Now onto the pinks, which have a little bit more than the other groups because I'm kind of a pink girl. I'm going to start off with finger paints. Um, this hot pink polish, I don't know the name of this polish because it does not have the sticker on the bottom anymore. But like Hallie did, she made up names for the ones that are no named. So we'll, um, we'll name this one Hot Pink Passion. How about that? Next we have Revlon's Guava, which is like a corally pink color. Then we have CoverGirl Boundless Color in Strawberry, Sassy Strawberry, OPI's Tropical Punch, Pure Ice in Peony, um, CQ in Iceberry, LA Colors Cotton Candy, and then this last one, which is my, I can't wait till summer to wear this, this is China Glaze's Pool Party, and it's a really neon -y highlighter pink, Pool Party, you guys gotta check this nail polish out, it dries kind of in like a matte finish, so that's what I really like about it, it does need two coats, it's more like a frosted glass finish I guess, but it's kind of matte too. I really, 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 ooh, it's like making my camera hard now. Really like this product. Pro color, color. It's really like making my camera go nuts because it's so bright. And now into oranges. This is like a pinky orangey coral. This is um, L'Oreal Paris Mango Gatem, as you can see. And this is quite similar to the Revlon's Guava, but this is more orange tone, so I put that in the orange group. Then we have New York Colors Times Square Tangerine Cream. And um, all the 
New York Colors polishes that end in like cream or whatever are really creamy, actually, which is what I noticed. This is pure ice in na 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 hot tamale. So it's really pretty and perfect for Halloween too because it's more like burnt orange color. And now into greens we have Revlon's Lush Lime. And it's just a pretty green iridescent polish with some sparkle in it. Then we have New York Colors in Luxury Lime Cream. Then we have this Pure Ice Polish. And in the lighting that I have, it looks um, more like an olivey green, but on camera it shows up pretty much the same color that it is. And this one's also no name, so I'm just going to name this one Green Apple. Ooh, I almost dropped that. Ah! I dropped so much stuff, you guys. Then Sally Hansen Hard as Nails in Limestone. And it's more uh, lime, no, it's more like olivey green in person. But let me see if I can. No, that's too bright. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Now into blues, we have New York Colors in a minute. Uh, nail polish in East Village. I have never personally used this one. It's like a teal turquoise color. And this packaging is different from this packaging. So this might be old and this might be new packaging. Oh, I could have just done this. This is uh, New York Colors Long Wearing Nail Enamel in Cashmere Cream. It's like a really light baby blue color. Old, new. Or old, new packaging. Then we have Nicole by OPI. Colors with the consignments? I don't know. Uh, this is the only Nicole by OPI I have. And this one's in blue lace, and I also have never personally used this one. Then the next one, which I really, really, really like. This is OPI's Teal the Cows Come Home. I just love that name, you guys. It is so funny. Teal the Cows Come Home. Yes. And then purples, we have... Simple Colors Professional in Let Me Go, I think. Yeah. And I'm thinking about putting this polish since it's a pretty sheer polish. And if you turn it in the light, you can see that it reflects like gold, not gold, green and blue in it. Um, I might think, I'm thinking about putting this over the um, Hot Pink Passion. That's the name I made up. Because it's so iridescent and shimmery, it would just... Uh, really complement this and give it a nice sheen to it so i think i'm going to do that today and then we have pure ice in i don't even know what this is called no means no then we have Ooh, i need to shake this one up this is new york colors in purple pizzazz frost and it's a sheer purple color And then the last one in the purple group is LA Colors Color Craze in Phenomena. And it's kind of like a uh, berry color. So it's really unique. Now on to glittery polishes and overcoats. CoverGirl Boundless Color in Pink Twinkle. I have a hard time remembering these names. Then we just have a Claire's Glitter Polish. It does not have a name on it, so I'm going to name this Cupcake Confetti. Then we have um, a Revlon Snow Globe in Blizzard Berry. I don't know if they sell these anymore because I got this a while ago. And it just has multicolored glitters in it. And I like putting this over Love Her Madly by Revlon. They just pair so nicely together. Then we have LA Colors in i'm trying to remember the name i just look amethyst then we have revlon's radiant and my two little uh cousins they picked these out this polish out for me which i thought was so cute because they're like two little boys and they picked out this really pretty uh polish and it has 
Yes. Uh, large glitter or medium sized glitter chunks in silver and green. So you can see the green in there at all. And then the last one I have is Orly's Bubbly Bombshell. I, I peeled the name off on accident, but it's, I remember this name. And I'm wearing it on my nails right now. Oh, I need to repaint those so bad. The next polish I have, it's in its own group. I couldn't figure out whether... Oh my gosh, I'm out of center. I couldn't decide whether or not to put it in the glitter polishes or in a, like, nude brown color collection or group. So I just put it on its own because it's a little bit of both and I really, really, really like this polish because it is pretty opaque for being sparkly and glittery. And if you follow Miss Glamorazzi on Instagram or on YouTube, then you know that she has talked about this polish recently and it is the OPI polish in Sprung. And this polish is, ooh, I had that upside down. It is so super pretty and it's like a chocolatey rusty brown color and it has glitter all in it. It is so pretty. I cannot get, I, I love this color. I just took this off my nails and put this on the night shirt. So yeah, it's in its own group because it's amazing and the bomb. Um, now onto white polishes. This is OPI Kyoto Pearl and it's like an iridescent shimmer sheer white color but if you turn it like it's kind of like I don't know it's like really pearly so I haven't used this a lot because it's super sheer but you can put this again I could put it over the hot pink color and have a nice little sheer thingy I'll probably try both and see which ones I like better between like this and this or this and this. You guys can tell me in the comments below, but I will probably have already painted my nails by then. You can still tell me for future reference. So yeah. Then we have New York Colors French White Tip. Just your basic white. Yesterday I saw OPI's Alpine Snow and I almost got it, but, or I didn't almost get it. I saw it and I was like, oh, that'd be nice to have, but I already have white, so yeah. Black, for black nail polishes, we have New York Colors Black Lace Cream and Pure Ice's Electric. Electric with an exclamation point just in case you're wondering. Now overcoats we have this Justice White Crackle and we'll name this one um, Crackling Snow. Yeah, that's a good one. Then I have a Sally Hansen Black Crackle Overcoat in Ink Splatter. And now for base and top coats, I have LA Colors Base Coat and Top Coat, which I'm like pretty much out of, and it's like a different color. And then the new one that I got, which I am just now starting to use, so I can do a review on this polish if you guys want me to. It is the Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nails Strengthening Top Coat. Just looks like this. The back is flat, so you can like like that I guess if you want but it's just flat like this and the only thing that bugs me is that the is that the brush is clear so I just have a hard time with that seeing um, applying it to my nails okay this video is about as long as Hallie's <laughs> And I have a lot less nail polish than she does. But now we're going into this little bag. That was all of my nail polish. And now we're going into my like nail art bag. So first I have my Sally Hansen Salon Effects Real Nail Polish Strips in Love Letter. That's the design if you can see that. I have two OPI like nail polish finger wedges. Just a little bag of bobby pins that I use as dotting tools. These uh, rhinestones like this and flowers like that. Then the uh, Cinna Nail Creations Nail Art Decals in Flower Power. 
Then I have some like peace love stickers. Hallie got me those. Instructions to the love letter and stuff. And now on to just stripers. So I'll go through the kiss nail art stripers that I have. I have white, black, beach green, bikini pink, and blue lagoon, pearl blue, and then I just have uh, silver glitter. And then I have two Art Deco nail stripers in Trying to find the name. Oh, gold glitter and teal glitter. Which I've never used this one before. But I've used this one. So that was all of my nail polish. That was my nail polish collection and storage video. Plus all the little extra things like my stripers and my um, nail art stickers and stuff. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. And um, if you want to film your nail polish collection film it and leave it as a video response below or you could just type out all the names of your nail polishes if you guys wanted to um but that is it for today remember to leave me a comment telling me what to pair with you with hot pink passion so i hope that you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you guys later and have a great rest of your day bye Done like a boss.